Children with autism are not omega-3 deficient. In fact, they actually have higher levels of DHA than non-autistic children. That's why I don't recommend omega-3 as a fish oil or an algae oil by itself in autism. It does have anti-inflammatory effects, but that's, it's also stimulating. The omega-9 supplements are important at the beginning of the autism developmental process. But then when you want to stimulate nerve growth, so that's where the omega-3s come in, and specifically the omega-3 plus malogens, they stimulate neurite growth. And this is what we're seeing with parents, is that the omega-9, the glia at beginning, really reduces their aggression, their sleep improvement, gut improvement. They're, they start being more attentive and interactive. And so all of these adverse behavioral challenges, those are dealt with fundamentally with reducing the inflammation and improving the myelination. But accelerating their school performance or the neuromuscular performance, that comes with the, D, with the omega-3. And there's a little bit of a you know, balancing act, right? So, you know, because it's stimulating. And so, and whereas the glia is calming, well, most people say it's like putting reading glasses on their, on their brain. And so they can read a sentence now without skipping five times. So they, they feel the omega-9 kind of focuses them and the omega-3 enhances them. So